Hey friends, in this video I have explained a simple reverse forward LED chasing effect generator circuit. Before proceeding, let us briefly examine the pinout details of the IC4017. The IC4017 is a dual inline DN integrated circuit consisting of 16 pins. This integrated circuit features 10 outputs that produce sequential high outputs in the following order. 3, 2, 4, 7, 10, 1, 5, 6, 9, and 11. The sequencing occurs in response to a frequency applied to pin 14 of the IC. Pin 16 serves as the positive supply input, while pin 8 functions as the negative supply input or ground. Pin 13 is designated for clock inhibition. Connecting it to the positive supply terminal will halt the circuit, whereas grounding it restores normal operation. Thus, it is connected to ground. Pin 12 is the clock carryout, which is not necessary for single 4017A applications, so it is left unconnected. Pin 15 acts as the reset pin, resetting the output to the initial pin in response to a positive signal. The reset pin, pin 15, is linked to pin 9, meaning that the output resets each time the sequencing reaches pin 9. When this pin goes high, the IC repeats the process by resetting the system. Pin 14 is the clock input, which must receive a square wave frequency, easily generated by any astable oscillator, such as those made from ICs like the IC555, IC4049, or transistors. Let us now examine the operation of the circuit. In the illustrated reverse forward LED light chaser circuit, the integrated circuit IC4017 is configured in its standard sequencing or chasing mode. However, the innovative incorporation of diodes at the IC's outputs creates the illusion of a reversing and forwarding sequence from beginning to end and vice versa. The strategic placement of the diodes allows the output sequence of the IC to control the LEDs in such a manner that the corresponding LEDs can replicate a back-and-forth chasing pattern. This effect is accomplished by directing five outputs to progress in a forward chasing sequence, while the subsequent five outputs are redirected to the same LEDs but in the opposite direction, resulting in a visual effect that resembles a two and fro chasing motion. The IC555 is configured as an astable oscillator circuit, and it feeds the required switching pulses to pin 14 of the IC4017 for enabling the sequencing of the 4017 outputs in the proposed forward reverse pattern. If you want to change the sequencing speed of the forward reverse chasing effect of the LEDs, you can adjust this simply by tweaking the 100K pot associated with the IC555 circuit. So that ends the full circuit description of the proposed reverse forward LED chasing effect generator circuit. If you have any questions related to this topic, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. Wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching and take care.